Namaste. Welcome to the wonderful world of Ayurveda, Yoga and Jyoti with Chago Namaste. Enjoy. Namaste. Uh, myself, Dr. Gaurodoy, behind the camera. And now the, the Thiago Namaste going to give us some classes or tips of the surfing, how we can do a good surfing and how we can enjoy the surfing. Hello Thiago, how are you? Hello Doctor, Namaste. Hello. Namaste. Now we are going to speak about the five elements of surfing. Yes. So since we are just like in a Ayurveda moment, mm. the first uh, element of uh, surfing is about the Prithvi element, the earth element. Mind. Okay? Yes. So when you go surfing, the wave can be in different kind of lands. Yes. It can be sand. Mm. It can be rock. Mm. It can be rock. And it can be a mixture of sand and rock. Yes. Okay? So when you go surfing, when there is a lot of uh, currents below the water, yes. it changes where the sand is um just like the shape yes okay mm -hmm. so uh, in portuguese uh we call this a uh, laje uh, the meaning is that how is the direction of the sand because if we okay. look in this way mm. the uh it can be just like directing to one side or to other side or to other side okay yes. and this is very important concept and when it's rocky the place you are surfing no, just there is the sea here okay and there is some rock that keeps yes this configuration ever the same yes there can be a little bit of sand here mm. but the wave when it comes it usually have just like a perfect way to go in because the rock can maintain yes in the other places in the beach more in front of where we are it's sandy Yes. So it's more difficult to have everyday uh, uh, waves there. Yes. Okay. So the first element is Prithvi element. It's earth. Yes. Okay. The second element is going to be the water. Mm -hmm. Jala. Jala. So water, the main aspect of uh, the wave is that it has to have some space between the floor. Yes. And also the uh, upper part of the wave because this part is the machine of the wave yes okay if this part doesn't have this space the wave does not have the breaking point yes okay so when you have a kind of tide that it's very close to the uh, floor yes it's very difficult for the machine to work yes it starts to break in a manner that is just like this. Mm. It's just like uh, losing the strength in a very smooth way, but it's not possible to push the person yes. so that he can be surfing. Yes. Okay? So this type of uh, uh, situation is good for very long boards. Yes. Okay? And when you have the situation that it's just like this, uh, um, I'm going to put it like that. Um, the point is that uh, when the wave... No, I'm sorry. It should be like this. When the wave comes like this mm. and there is a very uh, strong inclination, the wave is going to be like crushing yes. you. Okay? So the point is that it has to be some inclination, mm. but it should not be completely flat. Yes. And should not be completely... Um, accentuated yes. okay so the second element is about the amount of water where the machine can work okay um, the third element is the fire element so yes. you can ask how the fire element relates to surfing yes you are going to say oh I'm going to say about the Sun Surya Agni no mm. here we are going to understand that the fire element is the time between one wave and another wave yeah. okay this we call period yes okay when the period is very short it means that one wave another wave one wave another wave one wave okay so this means 
that the back wave clashes the front one. Yes. Because every wave, it needs a space to push, to pull the water so that this ball can form. Yes. Okay? So this water is formed from the front part of the wave. Yes. Okay? So if you have a very short period, this means that here you have already another wave. So it cannot uh, pull this water. And this means that this wave is not going to be with strength yes. to uh, pull you, to push you. Okay? So here we have one of the most important things about surfing yes. is the period. Period okay? between two waves. Period between two uh, uh, undulations. Yes. Because an uh, undulation and undulation is going to be a wave only in certain conditions. We are going to the next uh, slide soon. <laughs> and the fourth element of surfing is the wind. Wind. Bio. Yes. Okay. So if you have a wave and the wind is coming against the wave and it's soft. It, it's what we call tehau. It makes the wave like this. Yeah, yes. Okay? It makes a good uh, place where you can have very uh, quick movements. Okay? If your wave is like this and there is um, very soft wind from the back, it's not going to disturb so much, but the wave is going to be more like that. Yes. It's going to be more uh, foaming. Okay? But any kind of place, if the wave is, uh, the wind is strong, it uh, clashes, it um, destroys the uh, possibility of the wave become a surfing wave, it will become a wind surfing wave. Wind surfing wave. Okay? Huh? Because the person here will go into be with the board and there is going to be the wind surf. And here he will work with the wind so he can do the surfing. Yes. Okay? And the fifth element is Akash. Uh, I'm not going to translate Akash. And the Akash uh, that is supposed to be the eater here is the element that is uniting every one of them. And here is the surfer mm. with the board. Yes. Okay? So... All these things are going to work together so we can have the surfing. Yes. Okay? So let, let's go to the other slide. If you have, this is the uh, beach. And this uh, here is Itamambuca. Okay? Where we are surfing. Itamambuca. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is the tell tell the tell to the people that Itamambuka is a name of your your neighborhood. Uh, yes, where it's you are near, living now. Yeah, mm. it's nearby uh, Ubatuba. It's actually in Ubatuba city. Ubatuba and state is called Sao, Sao Paulo, Paulo and uh, country is Brazil. Yes. So this is uh, Itamambuka beach. Mm. Okay, and here is where you are learning because there are some rocks here. Yes. Okay, and there is the river here, mm. right? And here also there is another kind of rocks. Mm. This, this is the left side. Yes. Okay? And uh, here is the south. Yes. Okay? And here is the east. Mm. So, one point is that important relating to the earth element is that in this area, in this left area, and in this right area, it's rocky. Yes. This means that, uh, not that you're going to fall and crash your head, but this means that the earth part is more stable in these two areas. So these are the places where usually there is more waves. Because here we receive many uh, waves that come from the east direction, yes. the east-south uh, direction, the south direction, and a little bit of the southwest direction okay so when it's working with with this south southwest direction this side is working much better here there is no waves okay so the water element it happens to be in different directions yes. doesn't matter here the period yes okay 
But if you have, now another slide. If you have here, the, this is the sand direction, okay? Mm. And the wave is coming like this completely uh, 90 degrees. This will not work. The pattern of this sand and the pattern of the wave, it should be slightly less 90 degrees. It should be around 60 degrees. Mm -hmm. Okay? So in this manner, the wave answering your question, it's going to be first clashing this area, mm -hmm. and then it's going to clash this area, and then it's going to clash this area, and then going to clash this area, and this will make a surfing long wave where the surfer can go surfing. Yes. Yes. Okay? If this uh, goes just like in, in 90 direct degree. uh. 90 degrees, all the wave are, is going to Flag. clash in the same moment, and you are not going to be able to surf mm. because the wave is going to mm. clash yes. here. And uh, even if you surf well, the, the wave is going to crush you. Okay? So the most important point is to understand where the, is the um, leap point where you can take the wave when it's starting to clash and you can go forward in a way that you go from left to right or from right to left. Here in the left side of Tamambuca, the wave is left. And here in the right side, it's right. This means that the surfer will go right. Yes. Because the wave will start to uh, clash from the right to the left. Yes. In the perspective of the surfer. Mm. Okay? Mm. Here in the middle, it depends. <laughs> and people just like come from one direction and another direction, bang! Mm. This is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> but <clears throat> the point is that uh, depending on how the period is working, there are some places of the beach that just like this is low period area mm. and this is high period area. Mm. So when the uh, wave is very strong, it tends to be with high period. Yes. This means that the wave to be in this size, it has to have a lot of space of water so it can pull water, 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 water. So this machine is very big. Yes. Okay? And uh, uh, concerning the Akash element, mm -hmm. the person that is the surfer, surfer, you can say here, hang loose, beleza. Mm -hmm. okay? Beleza. <laughs> yes. He has to understand which kind of board he has to use concerning all these elements. Right. The element of how is the floor in that day? Where is the peak in oh. this day? Because concerning the tide, the peak can move. Yes. If you start to look the beach, on 9 a.m. it's going to be here, and mm. 9.30 it's a little yes. bit here, and 10 a.m. it changes. Yes. Because the tide is always changing. And this process of uh, cra uh, clash of the wave to the bank here it changes the places because the uh, the sea inside is not regular it's yes. just crazy like that so it's all the time changing if you go swimming with good glasses you can see that there are different patterns in the sea okay so if the uh, wave is just like this format that uh, the sea in the wave is very strong this is the small board type of wave. If the wave is just like that, it's more flat and it's foamy and it doesn't crush you, this is the long board. Which I'm using. You, which you are learning because you are learning the spuma, spuma. the foamy part of the, the, wave. the wave. As As you go improving your surfing skills, you are going to be able to pedal Mm -hmm. to go into these waves yes. because these waves the point is that when it's foaming uh, the foam part it just like pushes you without uh, crushing you 
But when the wave is just like radical, radical. <laughs> when it's very strong, the process here, yes. if you are not, uh, if you don't drop properly and you go out of this breaking point, it Crushes smashes you. you. Yes. Okay? So the point of the surfing is to understand these four elements yes. of earth, water, fire and wind by the Akash element that is you and the board. So you can in one day use the long board when it's foamy, when it's not just like very coconut breaker. And the other day when it's very radical, mano, when it's a very uh, strong the pressure, you take very small boards so you can make very quick maneuvers and don't be uh, destroyed by the wave. We say chilled by chilled. the yeah, okay. So you understand these yes. four elements and the uh, the role of the surfer yes. to integrate these five elements to do the surfing. Yes. Good. Thank you. Have a nice surfing Thiago, session. Namaste. Thank you for. Uh, uh, explain us the scientific part behind the uh, behind the surfing with the help of the Pancha Mahabhuta. Pancha Mahabhuta, Ayurveda surf. Yes. Woo! Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Sharanam Ganesha